What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use supervision inside of Cubase. This is a free plugin that allows you to check out your spectrogram. It allows you to see things like phase correlation and many more. So let's get right to it. Okay, so let's check out how we can use supervision inside of the control room. And the reason why I'm going to do it in the control room is because I want it to be the last thing that my graph sees. So that way I can analyze the entire mix of whatever it is I'm working on. So right here, I have a Hunger Games draft. I did a rescore for a project that I'm doing at Berkeley. So this is my orchestral mockup. And I want to check out things like my spectrogram. And I want to see how my loudest meters are doing. But there's a cool tool that Cubase has that allows me to really see where it is my frequencies are inside of this project. So let's go ahead and check out how we set this up. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open up the right tab. So by clicking this up here, the shortcut is command option R or you can just click up here. Now you're going to go to CR, which is the control room, and then you're going to get this little window here. Now, what we need to do is we need to go to this section here and hit inserts and then pull down this drop menu. And here you can go ahead and enter your supervision plugin. So it's under the analyzer tab, or you could just type in, it's called supervision, and it'll be the first one that pops up. And here we have it, it pops up as a level meter. So if I go ahead and just play it from wherever, all it is is gonna give me level. Now the cool thing about the supervision plugin is that I can have multiple instances and I can actually analyze a couple of different things at the same time. So let's say I'm going to put these side by side. And let's say I want to see loudness and I want to see frequency. So the cool thing is that it actually gives you a, a handful of tools that you can use here. If I hit where it says level in this drop down menu, here's a handful of tools that you can use inside of this one plugin. So it's not just a level meter. So I could see loudness, which can show you metering in, in LUFS and LUFS. You could see things like the spectrum curve. You could see things like spectrum bars. Um, you could see things like spectrum intensity. And you can keep going down. Maybe you can see if you want to check if your mix is in phase or let's say drum mics are in phase or guitar mics. You know, you could do that. You have spatialization. So if you're using surround sound and then you could see waveforms. And then here is another one that's time code. So let's go ahead and check out the spectrum curve, which is very important in a mix. So you can see where all your frequencies lie and you can see whether you need to turn down or turn up specific parts or beef up specific parts. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this cue a little bit from the beginning. I'll play the entire cue at the end so you can listen to it with both meters up because right now this is only recording the sound in mono. I would need to do a separate recording of this using Soundflower to record in stereo. And if you don't know how to record your audio in stereo from a screen record, I'm going to link right now on the top right of this video how to record your audio from the computer in stereo using Soundflower. So let's check out a little bit of this cue and let's check out the frequency spectrum and the level meter. We can actually split the screen too. So instead of having two instances of supervision, which is not a big deal, but if you want to just have one, you can split the screen either horizontally or you can split it vertically. So if I click vertically, then I'm going to split this with another one um, of supervision. And then whichever screen you're clicked on, you can see here that I could change it, let's say to my correlation. So I can see things like phase. If I want to split my screen again, there I have another screen, which can show me my level. And then on this side, I can, let's say, split it one more time. And now I could see things like spectrogram, but in a different way. So let's see the spectrum bar. So instead of it being a wave form, it's going to be a bunch of bars that are going to tell me where my peaks are. So let's try it again. So 
So as you can see, this is super helpful and that means you don't need to go out and buy any additional hardware to install or connect to your computer because Cubase has a digital spectrogram, all these cool tools that you see inside of a, a million dollar studio, you have it in here in a plugin form. So this video is not ready to show you how to read these graphs, but it's to show you that you do have this tool available to you and that you can use it to help reference your mix and make proper mix decisions based off of what you see and mostly what you hear. So now I'm gonna show you this entire cue. I'm gonna go ahead and play it and I'm gonna lay out four different supervision plugins. That way you can see them a little bit bigger and they're not so small. I'm gonna lay out four supervision plugins. I'm gonna show you one in signal, so loudness. I'm gonna show you one in spectral, phase. I don't have surround or any spatial things right now, but I'm gonna show you the waveform and then you'll see how this all works together. So let's get right to it. Okay, so that was the entire mix. This is a draft of my project. This is what we call an orchestral mock-up before instruments get recorded. So again, this is not a video on how to show you how to read any of these graphs. This is just to show you that you have this tool available to you inside of Cubase to make very detailed analysis of your mix. So this right here is what we call a wave circle. So it goes in a circle and you could see how the waveforms are. Um, being produced and where the peaks are and it shows you a left and right channel here here i have what we call a panorama which is pretty much telling you um, spatialization so here's left and right so here is um you saw the little ball here telling you how wide the signal is or how wide this mix is you have a spectrum curve which tells you all the frequencies and how the frequencies are balanced between the entire frequency spectrum. So here you have your loudness meter and then here you have your level meter. If you have any questions throughout the video, just drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you found the information of this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it. So go ahead and check it out. Also, I'm going to leave my link to my Patreon down in the description. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support the channel. And I greatly appreciate the support. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.